right guys, I'm back here with another video. Who would have thought I could do one right after the other one? But today we're going to talk about the title track of the By The Way album. This song, By The Way. Now I've seen the Chili Peppers live in the last two years three times. And each night they play By The Way. And I'm doing this song because I'm trying to slowly introduce pedals based off the songs off the album. But when I was first uh, collecting pedals, it took me a while to realize that there are two versions of the WH-10. Well, at least two versions that matter. All right, so we have your OG gray and green WH-10, which is made out of plastic. And John's guitar tech, Dave Lee, from way back when stated in an interview that this was his biggest problem on the tour. Because these were made out of plastic, John was notorious for breaking these constantly. In fact, I have three of these and they're all broken. You can kind of see that I put a little bit of, of epoxy. I have some photos in my phone that I'll post up, but a little bit of TLC and you'll be all right. And then Ibanez, the company, decided to make these in a reissue format but include a metal enclosure so that it prevented these from snapping on you. But this is 100% a pedal you need to have John Frusciante's tone. Not only for the buffer that I talked about in my last video, which you should go watch, but John has tried other wah pedals and he always comes back to this one. Uh, right now he has the Wilson FX modded WH-10 version 3, the black and green version, that has been modified to have a volume knob to help tame the boost that comes out of this pedal. This pedal has a double potentiometer inside, one controlling the sweep and also one controlling a volume boost. But I didn't know for the longest time that there was a version one and a half. This was right before they introduced the metal enclosures. The only main difference is this one does not have a volume potentiometer. It only has a single pot, not a dual one like the green version. So what does this mean? It means that you don't get a crazy boost when you use this compared to the V1 version. All right, everybody, this is B-Roll Marcos talking. I messed up. There are in fact dual potentiometers in both the gray and black version of the WH-10. You can clearly see a yellow and orange wire occupying the top lugs of the potentiometer that is controlling the boost. And we're gonna open up the black version so that you can also see that there is a dual potentiometer. I thought there wasn't, but there is some sort of merit into my claim because those lugs are not being occupied by any wires, which means it is out of the circuit. That's why I get different tones out of this pedal compared to the gray version. My apologies, just know that when I'm talking about this pedal not having a dual pot, it does, just know that it's not in the circuit. Let's get on with the video. And so I wanted to find some kind of way where I could showcase the differences between the two and what better way to do it than for the By The Way song when John activates the pedal when he starts hitting those percussive notes on the guitar. Now both of these have a buffer, but they're a little bit different. The black one, I find that by itself without another pedal in front of it, meaning before this one, it has a louder boost compared to the gray version. But when you add a secondary buffered pedal, for example, the Boss DS2, that kind of knocks it out so it doesn't even matter. But what really matters is, is the crazy volume boost you get from the gray version compared to the black version. In fact, let me show you right now. Alright everybody, I'm going to be using my Strat for this one. We're going to talk about the two differences between the black and the gray version of the WH-10. Here's my clean tone. Reverb on. And my shitty attempt of playing the Slain Castle outro for By The Way. So right now I have a Boss DS2 
buffering the signal, so that's why there isn't that much of a difference between the two right now. I'm going to engage both pedals. Here's what they are when they are turned on. Test the sweeps. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you what the room sounded like. This is my camera microphone. It definitely sounds louder because the audio is not getting compressed by the Warm Audio 1176s. I'm going to remove the Boss DS2 from the signal chain and you're going to hear that the black version has a slightly stronger buffer than the gray version. Plug the Boss DS2 back. We're going to hear the sweeps all the way down. This thing's loud, guys. But it drives the amps really cool. Those are the differences. But see, all you really need is a WH-10-esque pedal that has some sort of volume mod. And you can get tones from both pedals. I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to show you that I can get the same amount of signal when I'm using the volume knob to help tame that crazy volume boost that you would get. Buffers are pretty much the same. And I'm going to turn on the pedals now. And now I'm going to turn it down to see if I can get it as close to the WH10. That's pretty close. Maybe just a little bit less.
So if you've been looking for a WH-10 for a long time and you don't know what to buy, I highly recommend getting one with some sort of volume pot. I have a WHX from Triangular Labs, and this is number seven of his production line. Uh, I know Will has only released this pedal in small batches, but that's only because they are extremely hard to make. They take forever to get printed. But if you could get your hands on some sort of WH-10 pedal with a volume knob on it, that'll get you very far when it comes to your pursuit of John Frusciante's tone. But, but please, Will, make, make more of these. These are awesome. The people want it! And uh, I also recorded a small video of me repairing my gray WH-10. I watched Dave Simpson's video on how to clean the pots, but when I took mine out, the uh, LED was getting in the way of fully taking out the circuit board so I could really get in between the pot and spray it down with some contact cleaner. So I had to cut the original LED, lost it, and decided to solder my own LED that I got. So I'll post that video soon if you guys are interested in that. Plus it's also a really small and easy mod to do. Now besides the WH-10, you also need a reverb. And of course I'm going to use the Fender Reverb Unit because it sounds great. It really helps add a lot of texture, again for those percussive notes that John's hitting, and also for the intro. And that's pretty much going to be the same settings that I had it on for my Zephyr Song video. Alright everybody, you know what to do. If you want to see more John Frusciante videos, hit the like button, click subscribe. Uh, I think I'm going to do a giveaway for my next video. Uh, I'm so amazed that my first two videos got more than 500 views each. And uh, I want to thank you guys and celebrate by giving away a pedal that's just sitting on my shelf. But it will definitely be John Frusciante related. So you don't want to miss that video when I talk about how to enter and what you could do to win. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.